every day feeling so far away. Okay, hello everybody. This is Epsilon144. In this video, I'm going to basically teach you how to really stop the OBS lag. Um, I've tried a ton of ways to do this, including like bit rate changings, changes, setting changes in OBS, doing a bunch of different um, techniques found online on YouTube, various forums. And uh, I think the best one by far is what I'm going to teach you in this video, which includes um, basically just looking at your processor and how much CPU usage your computer is actually running. I don't think anyone's actually really, maybe somewhere on the internet someone said this, but this solved the problem for me. Um, just don't bog down your processor with a ton of uh, stuff in OBS because if it gets up and it jams your processor, um, which I'll teach you about if you don't really know what that is, I'll, I'll teach you about that in this video. All right, so this is what you want to do to really stop the OBS lag um, in streaming or recording. All right, so here in OBS, you're going to see a kind of like mirrored effect of the screen, but that's basically where I'm working. I can make this full screen um, just so it's easier on your eyes. All right, so here in OBS, what we want to do is uh, just keep the settings the way they come when you download it. All right, um, I changed the theme to dark, but your theme is going to be the natural one, the light one. That doesn't matter. It doesn't affect anything. Um, this, that's for your stream key, etc. Your output now um, some people have changed this from the encoder they changed it to the times 264 and then edited it right here for recording but just use the stream one man use the one that they give you when you download the package it's the most optimized uh, default setting in my opinion because most of the problem comes from your processor and comes from your actual system that's on your computer and I'll show you how to fix that um, here on a Mac and I'm sure a PC has a similar pretty damn similar way to doing it as well um, so Basically, you want to keep your recording like this. You want to have go to advanced options and make sure this is all the same. This is exactly how it comes when you download OBS. Okay, um, set your your file. You know that will be different for you. Your your recording path. Um, all right, but here on the streaming, make sure you keep this the same. So this is where the actual rate and bit rate control are, Con constant bit rate, all of that. Um, very fast and 2,500 bit rate. All right. Some people say jam it up into 50,000, 40,000, whatever. And um, I, I really don't even know what that does in my opinion. You know, honest, I, you know, honestly, but um, it can't help. It definitely like jammed my CPU usage up another 50%, um, which is going to really bog down and add a lot of lag. Okay. So keep those the way they are. If you have audio routing, you got to route your audio how you want to route your audio. This video isn't really going to show that. Just keep the default settings. Um, if you have a microphone, obviously, use your microphone, audio, and all that. All right, so keep those hotkeys if you want to do hotkeys advanced. Um, you can do 709 color space in a full range for the U U YUV color range just to add more color to it. That doesn't really do anything. So that is one thing you can change. All right, so with that done, you haven't really changed anything here in the settings, all right? But the real thing that you want to do now is you want to, if you have a Mac, you want to search for something called an activity monitor, all right? So activity monitor. It's this thing right here, all right? This thing on your Mac is going to scan your Mac and see what CPU usage everything is using, all right? So as you can see here on my Mac, OBS right now while it's recording and everything's up is taking 69.5% of my CPU. Now it's at 75%, okay? I also have Ableton Live, which is right here. This is taking 15%. All right, so you really have to be careful with this. Um, I know one thing that was screwing up mine was I have these animations. If you look in the corner down there, there's an animation. Um, I'm not actually recording this video with the animation on it right now. I'm adding that in after using um, a video editing software. Like in my case, I'm using iMovie. I'm a noob. Don't hate me for that, but whatever. Um, so don't actually put those animations and don't put a bunch of stuff in your actual OBS because if you do OBS is going to jam up into um, you know it's going to jam up into probably a hundred or or 150 all right and you have to understand your system as well if you have one processor you could only fit a hundred percent 
there, okay? So if I had one processor, I'd be jamming this up pretty close to where the capacity is, and that's where you start to see lag, okay? So you really have to be careful about how much CPU percentage you're using by using this activity monitor application. If you're using a Windows or a, a, like a PC thing, um, just Google the equivalent of activity monitor for PC, and you'll see what kind of what you're using as your CPU percentage, all right? If you if your computer has two processors, you can now have 200%. So I'm still fine. I still have over 100% processing power because this MacBook has two processors, dual processor. All right, so there's 200% available for me. And you just make sure you have 10% extra. So in my case, I could only jam it up into maybe 185%, 185%, 180% to be really careful. So I have an extra 20% there as uh, you know um, wiggle room to be be safe with all right so just make sure you don't put a lot of stuff in your OBS if you stream a game I'm sure it's gonna really pick it up a lot more because games games take a lot more processing power to run all right um, if you're doing videos like this just teaching videos or just browsing the web or doing an application or something you can have your frame rate here in OBS if you come back to OBS you can keep your frame rate at 30 um, so as the output, where was this? Uh, not sure where it was. It I mean, maybe in general. Um, I don't know. It's, there's like the frame rate. I think it's down here. If you uh somewhere, I think it's in video. Yeah, right here in video. Um, I can change it because it's, it's in the process, but the common FPS, the common frame frames per second, uh, make have it at 30. You know, just think about it. That's 30 times that your eye is getting in a second. All right, so the camera is like flipping 30 times every second, which is super fast. So it's going to be fine if you're playing a really, really high action video game. You want to use 60, but that alone adds a lot of CPU. So just moving that to 60 is going to add a ton of CPU percentage to your processor, which is going to add even more bogging down. All right. So just understand what computer you have. Um, if you're using, you know, um, I'm going to come back. I'm going to uh, get out of this. So just cancel that. And I'm going to come back to um, just here all right so just understand what kind of computer you have and um you know if you if you have um one that has one processor don't go up to a hundred percent so right now i'd be it would start to lag if i had one processor but i have two so i'm okay just because the 85 the 11 percent the five the three the one and all those added together are going to jam up into a hundred percent and then that's going to cause a single processor system to lag but just know what kind of system you have, what you're running, and if you have two, you can obviously run a lot more applications and stuff, all right? Um, and try to cut back, all right? Cut the fat a little bit. You know, if you have a lot of stuff running and that you don't need or you can do a different way, like in my case, the animation, um, cut those out of OBS and then add them in later using a video editing software. So I think that's really the best way to stop the lag. I haven't found anyone that actually talked about the processing and the CPU usage on the computer. So I hope this video really helps you solve the lag. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions about this, you know, contact me. Um, I think this will really help you uh, fix fix everything. So, you know, thank you for watching. Um, and, uh, you know, my name is Epsilon 144 and everything. Um, you can listen to my music on SoundCloud. I'm a music producer, but, uh, yeah, you know, I hope this is, that's besides the point. I don't want to talk about myself. So I hope this video helps, um, with your lag. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, like, and subscribe for more videos. And, um, a shout out to Eric Curry and Rizzo for helping with the music that's in this video and the animations that are, that you see moving around. All right. So shout out to them. Shout out to you for watching the video and have a great day. Thank you so much.